what up fam welcome back to the channel wicked whips and i hope everybody is doing well so from the time lapse i'm sure you guys guessed it we got some brake stuff going on right here so who here doesn't want to actually upgrade their braking system for a reasonable cost because especially like rotors pads you know they can get really really costly so what ended up happening was I did my research as you guys know I'm OCD with that stuff and I came across this product or actually this company called Approved Performance and I ended up calling the owner of the company Keith and we spoke at length about his product so I purchased it with my own money and we're about to just go through what's contained in the box and then tomorrow I'm going to my boy's shop and do a full install on it can't wait all right guys so what's in the box this box here and this one here has the fronts this one here has the rear rotors as you can see these rotors are drilled and slotted for the price I paid which I'll leave in the link in the description you will not believe it now we have the brakes right here these are the fronts obviously they're a lot bigger than the rears got your brake grease guys these this grease here is for the slides not the back of the pad or the shims you do not put the grease on the back of the pad you put them on the slides i actually got some hardware um with the front brakes but normally the hardware is not included in this package again the hardware is not included in this package so you have just reused your own hardware now you got some literature in here which is very very important so do not throw this out it shows you how to break or bed the brakes in once everything is installed. Also, it shows you the orientation of the rotors in reference to the car. So the slots, the points of the slots have to be pointed towards the rear of the vehicle. And that's how it goes as per the owner. And speaking about pads, these pads are freaking dope they're carbon fiber ceramic pads so these things should be ultra low dust to the point where you can't even see them on the rim i cannot wait to try this out because obviously you can see this truck is freaking dirty so guess what i gotta wash this bad boy up today look at the condition of this thing that shit is messy shit is actually brown instead of black so food for thought but anyway it's very very simple what's in the box but what i love about it for the price i paid this is awesome i didn't dream of getting slotted and drill rotors for the price that i got especially with pads guys you would not believe it I'm telling you right now super super dope and i'm super excited for this install tomorrow and i'll see y'all soon all right next day about to head to his shop truck is freaking clean Wash this bad boy up nice yesterday. Wheels are clean. Yeah. All right. All right, peeps, so we're here in the shop. We got Brendan over here, about to just prepping the truck to put it up on the lift. Got my boy Eli here. He'll be doing the install. So what's up? What's going on? <laughs> so what he's doing right now, he's just putting the rotors in the spots. These are the rears. And as I discussed yesterday, the points always go towards the back. So how it's gonna look is like this. So when you have it lined up, the top of that slot is facing towards the back of the vehicle. Obviously the wheel you see the wheels come off now 
what we're gonna be doing or what he's gonna do is precisely what I would do. Like, obviously you need the proper tools to do this stuff. So if you just have to take the pads off by itself, what you would do is just take this 13 millimeter bolt off right here and then there's one right here. And then the caliper can come off. You can rest it on the control arm or place it up here. And then you can just pull the pads off. And once it's off, it's easy to compress the piston. I know a lot of guys like to leave it on there and compress the piston. But you gotta be careful because sometimes when you're compressing the piston, you could damage the boot. This rubber boot right here behind the piston. You don't wanna damage that. So right here is metal and then there's rubber right here. Now, since we are changing the rotors as well, what he's gonna do is take the caliper off first and then see this bolt right here this here is a 21 millimeter that well should be yeah should be a 21 millimeter right here and then there's one over here as well take that off <clears throat> and then so once the caliper comes off first then he takes off this bracket right here and put the bracket to the side now once the caliper comes off then he will compress the pistons and replace the pads Guys, from the time left, when he was taking off the 13 millimeter bolt, this one right here, and obviously you can see there was some type of Loctite on it. What happened was, as I told you before, you might need a 17 millimeter for this one right here because it started to spin. So his 17 millimeter wrench was a little bit, uh, thick, the thickness of it was a little bit too much. So you just had to use a channel lock and hold down the rim of it right here and it came out. Now he's gonna break these 21s and just make sure you're going in the right direction too. This. Perfect. What he's doing here, he's just using some brake cleaner to get that uh, resin off of it that the, the manufacturers put on there. They put that on there as a precautionary just to protect it from rusting as well, especially on the shelves. All right guys, so very, very important. See what he's doing right here? Some sandpaper or some type of rough Brillo or a wire brush, especially to clean out the grooves where the pads slide into. You don't want any type of uh, interference in there. You want it to move freely. All right, peeps, as I told you before, the grease packets that you get, you put it on the slides. On the slides, it's not for the back of the shims. It's not for that. Grease is for the slides. You put it on the back of the caliper, I mean the back of the uh, pad, it can freaking literally harden on there and then you might have some other problems. Because this could, it's definitely gonna cook with the temperature of the rotor and friction with the pad. So the grease is only for those slides. And you guys don't forget, with this kit, you do not get hardware, so make sure you reuse your own hardware when, you, when you're putting it on. Guys, don't forget, see these hooks right here? Hooks, uh, bungee cords, something, you know, I mean, just in case you're scared or worried about just resting it, you know, by balancing itself on the control arm or anything, you can just use a hook or double up some, some coat hangers or something like that, it'll help. All right, guys, so you see like the pads are on right here. As I said, this hardware uh, came in mind, but definitely keep yours because Normally in this package, it doesn't come with it, so you can just reuse your old uh, hardware right here. Look how beautiful this thing looks. Damn. All right, guys. God damn. All right, so what you see him doing right here, he's gonna depress the pistons in order for that caliper to fit around the new pads. As I said before, most guys try to use a pry bar or whatever. I'm not saying that it's a bad practice, but if you freaking uh, you don't want to break that rubber boot, right, that surrounds the metal piston. Yeah, there you go. Once that's depressed, you just gotta put the caliper back over the pads. Are we straight? All right, guys, food for thought. See how this is tangled right here? Make sure get your orientation back right so you don't tangle up your freaking brake lines that is not gonna be a good day 
and you're probably gonna end up having to spend a lot of cash. You know what I'm saying? All right, so this is the passenger side front. That bad boy is pretty much finished. Just has to put the, the top of the caliper back on. And as you saw, the driver's side right here, all pretty. Damn, that's a beautiful little setup right there. Beautiful. Woo. Oh, by the way, guys, don't forget, I'm gonna repeat this again. Make sure these slots are pointed towards the rear of the vehicle. That's how they go. So the front to finish, now it's time for the rear. All right, so now we're jumping to the rear. And as you can see, these rotors are F up. I'm talking about, there's a freaking lip right here. Yeah. And look at this right here. Holy shit. Now let me tell you, it's so coincidental that I was actually getting a freaking vibration as well. And now I can see why. And a lot of guys, sometimes you might get a vibration, you might think it's the front. Let me tell you, on these trucks, especially with the light cabs in the back, a vibration from the back, definitely go up to the front and you might think it's the front, so. All right, so we're in the back underneath on that back rotor. Now, so now he has to take this one off here, that's a 10 millimeter. This one off, that's to get the, right here, that's to get the pads off, 21. 21 to get the bracket off. So this, these two 10s will take off the caliper, the two 21s to take off the bracket, the two 21s are just like the front. Now, another added anomaly, just in case the rotor can't come off, right here, there is a rubber boot that he's gonna have to take out because of the, this is to access, there's a little cog in there for the e-brake. So he might just have to loosen it up just in case the rotor won't wiggle free. Alright guys, real important information right here. See this rotor clip? Just in case, you definitely have to remove this before this will come out because it's definitely holding it in place and it's really, really sturdy too. All right guys, so what you could do, you could hit it really, really hard with a freaking mallet, cause since obviously, or a hammer, because I don't want these rotors anyway. And what it'll do, it'll create some space right here. And then you could just, you could literally just spin this off like so. And then you'll be able to take the rotor off. So don't forget, this is gonna stop it. All right, so luckily we didn't have to adjust the cog to compress the drum. So this is the star right here. That star, you would literally have to go through this hole right here with like a flathead and move it in a direction to compress the drum in order to take off the rotor. Luckily, I didn't have to. Thank God. All right guys, so once again, brake clean on the back and the front just to get that grease residue from the factory off. All right, guys, I'm gonna say this shit again. So you see the hardware in the back is a lot different from the front. See all the grease on it? You definitely wanna clean it off, clean off all the insides over there with like a Brillo pad or a wire brush. Definitely get that stuff clean because remember, we have to reuse the hardware. Flex, we just chase checks that don't bounce. bounce. Break next once that base hit, let it bounce. Bang roll, bang roll, yeah. Bounce it for that bang roll, yeah. Bounce. Bang roll, bang roll, yeah. Bounce it for that bang roll, yeah. Bounce. Bang roll, bang roll, yeah. Bounce it for that bang roll, yeah. Bounce. Bang roll, bang roll, yeah. Bounce it for that bang roll, yeah. No calls. I dropped in and your new bitch on the mouth. Fuck a how you doing, it's what you do with that mouth. All right, so this one, this is where the anomaly is right here. So right there, we have to take the booth out and 
in order to get the cog that's in there. There's a little star, you have to mess around. He's about to do it right now, because what happened is the drum, the drum actually made a lip on the inside of the freaking rotor, and now it won't come out. So as long as he adjusts it, it'll compress the drum so they can pull it out. See, there you go. All right guys, so everything is tightened up. New pads are in. Don't forget guys, make sure you grease up your slides properly. And now all we gotta do is just slap on the, slap on the wheels and just uh, break the, just bed the brakes and that's it. All right guys, install is fully complete. Backs, fronts. Big shouts to my boy Eli. Thank you for helping out with this video. Guys, all you gotta do now, follow the directions that you get in the box, how to bed the brakes properly. And that is it. Definitely drop a comment below, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all soon. With a division with vision in that ass. First up the kitchen, I'm whipping in that lab. I'm off the wall like Michael, I'm that bad. Yeah. She wanna get involved, tryna be all in my accounts. You could be the one, but girl, I got my doubts. Until then, pick up all these ones off the ground. Don't get out of